God said, let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, and all the wild beasts. God created man in the image of himself, in the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. And he gave them the orders to be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and conquer it. So God created man in his own image, male and female, he created them. And he ordered them to master, be masters over his creation. And uh, in the, in the narrative of creation, speaking to man, he says, as he puts him in the garden, to till and to guard the garden. To, that is to work, to cultivate. See, from the very beginning, this um, duty, this obligation, uh, was given to man as part of his inheritance of being made in God's own image. Uh, the, mm, the great nobility of being able to participate in God's creative deeds, his creative work. Man doesn't create, rather he fabricates. He fabricates from what God created. But in doing so, in working over creation, he imitates God. He, he manifests the image of God in the world. Uh, so that's the nobility of work, which is part of our own substance. A man who doesn't work fails in realizing that for what he is called to do. To work is to participate in the very act of God, to manifest his image, which is what we are made to be. Um, and so if we want to become men and women who are truly realized in that of what God has created us to be, then we have to work. It's, it is a, a frustration in the life of man uh, when he can't find work or when he refuses to work and lets himself become subdued by the lower passions of seeking a, a comfortable life and so avoid doing work. A man who avoids doing work is a failure. He cannot realize himself. He cannot become the man God created him to be. Now, St. Joseph, on this first day of May, we are celebrating St. Joseph under the title of St. Joseph the Worker. He was the teacher of the Son of God. And even all of this speaks of the, the place of work in the life of man. And the incan incarnate Word of God, who became man, to, to show in the life of men, took upon himself the, the Lord and the burden of work to show us that it is something that ennobles us, uh, elevates us. Uh, he, he, he himself uh, got dirty and sweated on the brow of his forehead with the effort from his work. And he learned all this from St. Joseph. See, St. Joseph is a man of many gifts, a great example for us all to follow, uh, Saint Joseph. And in, in that um, creation narrative on the creation of man, as I said, these two words are used. Uh, God commands the man to till and to guard the garden, that is to cultivate it and to protect, that is to provide that is to provide for his family. Um, and those two words, the biblical experts say, are words that are employed in, with relation to the priestly ministry. So from that we can deduce that 
the work of man, <clears throat> or the work that man is called to do, is something sacred, something which unites him and God's creation to God himself. It is a priestly ministry. A priest, the priest is a bridge that unites the, the, the mundane, the profane reality of creation and the sacred. And so that is what, when men actually work, they are uniting the world with God. Uh, and so that speaks to us of, of the greatness of the place of work in the life of man. Man is becoming an actual priest in his, in his daily living. Um, so we can turn to St. Joseph today and ask that he, he intercede for us so that we may become those true images of God in the world for which God has created us to be. And we will do that by those that, that means which he has given us, the means of work. Jesus said in the gospel, remain in me, remain in me. And that is one of the principal ways of remaining in Jesus, living that life that he lived, imitating him. And one of those things that he lived uh, in, in the most perfect of ways is to work. Uh, so we can ask St. Joseph today that he intercede for all men, for all women, that they may truly take up that sacred duty of, of work. And not only manual labor, because Jesus said when they asked him the question, what is the work of God? Jesus responded, this is the work that God wants of you, to believe in him whom he sent. So the principal work of all is spiritual work, soul work, uh, work that comes from the, and, and, and has its place and its end in the soul of man, to pray, to, to go to mass, to live the sacramental life. So all of this we can also encommend to, to recommend to St. Joseph that through his intercession, mankind may take up this duty of work and above all that spiritual work that God calls us to be so that his image may shine forth in our lives in this world. Amen.